walk you through how you do a flash program on like a 2000 uh, Chevy Impala using J2534 and a Bosch Flash Pro. First thing is always make sure you got a fully charged battery and put a good uh, power supply charger on there. This is what I'm using here, power charge uh, PC. PSC 550 works out pretty good. Um, this vehicle may or may not have a calibration updated for it, but the shop wants a program for whatever reason, hoping it does something. Got the Bosch Flasher Pro on the floor here. Uh, you, when you plug it in, the green light on the left comes on. And then uh, once you have a PC connection, which is through USB, the other green light, which is green light number two, comes on. Um, Go ahead and log on to AC Delco on a computer here. And uh, I'll go ahead and log in on here. And you want to access your subscription. And you skip through this. You want to go to service programming. Click OK. And start SPS. This is where it will load any native file ar archive library, library archives, which I guess it actually stores a lot of stuff on here. I'm not using an MDI, so I skipped this process right here. And we're going to choose the top option, highlight that for a Bosch Flasher Pro. And we are going to reprogram the current ECU. So you click next. And basically follow the on-screen instructions. We'll just hit next here. And this is a Chevrolet. The tenth digit of this vehicle is a Y. So that means it is a 2000 Chevrolet Impala. Sometimes it'll ask you for engine. Now it comes up with a VIN on the screen, and you always have to make sure, verify that VIN matches the VIN plate. Don't ever check always by the door. Every once in a while you'll get burned because the VIN on the door, the door's been replaced, doesn't match the VIN on the VIN plate, and cause you problems if you type in the wrong one. But most times it'll automatically ID itself. Right. Let's click next. And we want to program. These are the list of program modules. We're going to program the powertrain control module. Click next. And the current calibration. <clears throat> uh, it, this vehicle may be updated all the way. We're going to find out. If you try and update it and it's already been uh, updated, it'll tell you the current calibration number over here and the most recent one here. We're going to hit next. And it's saying we're attempting to pre-program with the same calibration. Select OK to continue. We're going to go ahead and continue. GM does not recommend it, but we're going to continue anyhow on this. And click Next. And it tells us on this vehicle we must remove the BCM fuse prior to programming the PCM. Failure to do so may cause problems. So usually SPS will walk you through um whatever problems that they may be having on certain cars and they'll tell you ahead of time which fuses to remove or which fuses not to remove so we're looking for the 10 amp bcm fuse it's just sandwiched between a 10 amp fuse and a 25 amp fuse um which i believe is going to be this one right here I'll verify that. Next to that should be a blank spot up here and then a blank spot below it. So we're actually looking at it like this. GM can be funny sometimes with the way they reverse the views on our stickers. But uh, yeah, that'd be PCM fuse right there. Go ahead and pull that fuse out. So we have that removed, and the BCM fuse is there. We scroll down, 10 amp cluster, and this spot, uh, 2 amp fuse. Okay, we've got that done. Hit the next, 
and this is the vehicle getting the information uh, computer getting the information off the internet and then it's going to actually start the programming process down here when it starts and when you are programming the pro progress bar will start to go across and when all is well it will say it'll get it all across and then say programming fleet when you have a problem it'll stop in the middle and leave you hanging which happens sometimes but most times there's a workaround and as long as the Bosch Flasher Pro is programming the yellow light will be flashing on and off um, in most of my experience when the red light comes on and stays on solid that's bad if the yellow light comes on and stays on solid and doesn't blink at all and your progress bar doesn't do anything um, usually the programming failed and you have to re-attempt re it so go ahead and wait for it to do it here now if, they, if we were replacing the uh, PCM on this car with a junkyard PCM or a new PCM he would have to go through the crankshaft variation run um, but before you do that you have to go through the uh, VTD uh, which is vehicle theft deterrent relearn which is a 10 minute procedure um, sometimes it takes up to 30 minutes if you do it a manual way but going through SPS which is what we're doing here it will do it 95% of the time it'll do it 10 minute relearn and then you go ahead and uh, warm up the engine and do a crankshaft variation relearn which you need either a tech 2 uh, most uh, Genesis scan tools and snap-on scanners will do a crankshaft variation relearn also with uh, J2534 devices from True Technologies which they make the uh, Bosch Flasher Pro which is what I use um, there's a, a utility tool called a J2534 toolbox using that you can do a crankshaft variation learn uh, right through the scan tool most of the time it'll work there are vehicles that that does not work properly um, and you know it's just a communication problem and you got to have a scan tool that does work to do it but you see we're nearing completion here Once that's done, you actually hear the fuel pump go on, the cluster makes some noise, all kinds of things happen. And the next screen should say programming complete. And it'll say programming complete. Um, it'll tell you your warranty claim code if you're a dealer. And it'll also tell you to re turn off the ignition, wait for 30 seconds and to reset the controller. Um, and they also give you the same notice down here. I don't know if you can see, it just basically says uh, crankshaft aeration, relearn procedure using special functions on the Tech 2 may need to be needed after programming. So we're going to go ahead and turn the ignition off for 30 seconds or thereabouts. Usually I usually give at least 10 seconds or so. And if all is well, the vehicle will start and run. This vehicle did have a check engine light on beforehand, so I'm not expecting uh, the light to be off. Sometimes it'll clear it, sometimes it won't. And it looks like this one actually cleared it, but and I'm actually surprised that runs without having a BCM fuse in, but I forgot to do that. But hey, turn off the ignition and we'll put that BCM fuse back in. And make sure it starts one more time. And all is well. That's how you program using J2534 and a Bosch Flasher Pro with a subscription to General Motors SPS.